I just wanna know, baby, if I hit your phone Is you picking up, baby, tell me what you want Never get no fuss, baby, I was all alone What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your host with the most Tomboy Double and Crouching Tomboy TV, welcome back to the channel. Now today your boys headed back to the city, we're linking up with a few of the boys, homies driving out there, uh, and it's currently that, um, and I already f and finished editing the, editing the video, I don't know what I'm saying, but I already finished editing the video, I forgot to record the intro of the day, but pretty much today, we're heading to New York City, so you know the typical vibes. Uh, we were going out there. We we're linking up with Harlem a little bit later as well. That's what we ended up doing. And we also went to Palace and Kith. Now, Kith dropped the Coca Cola Converse collection as well as the Coca Cola apparel and accessories. You guys will see how that ended up going down in Palace was a movie it was very well to me treated me just right i don't know if you guys can see the pick it was behind me but they did go down pretty well so hope you guys enjoy this one let's get it we're gonna go actually straight we're gonna time travel straight up into the palace lines hope you guys enjoy let's get it Ooh. two hours later This is $138. Inside a palace right now in front of V-Files. But first item we gotta show off real quick is the Coca-Cola Kith item. Damn. $150 retail? Ooh, that's not bad at all actually. Let's can we see the shoe real quick? Let's see how it goes over. Okay, damn. <laughs> size 11 and a half too, right? It's my size, yo, damn. It's nice as hell, it's the Kith. It's a real thing, Kith, bro. Nice denim overall. This was the friends and family pair. Oh, and it comes off and on. Sick little item right there. Go. You were uh, spot number 38, right? 38, 38, 38 right 40 there. Pairs. 40 pairs. Damn, that's not bad at all. And of course, we have Palace as well, but we also see the little skate deck over there. Let me see what's over there. Coca-Cola all over in the cursive, iconic cursive on the back and on the front. We got the Kith little box logo. And it's a size 8.125 right there. Nice one right there. Any apparel pieces or no? Yeah. Okay, let's check them out. Of course, we did a little damage at Palace as well. They came like this. Oh, we're gonna keep, we're gonna leave it like that. Came packaged. This was the Kith Coca Cola Hula short sleeve sh uh, shirt. Oh, this is a shirt, regular shirt, size small. And then this is another T-shirt, size small as well. And and then we gotta go on to Palace real quick. Let's see, he was out here early, I know, oh, here we go, the black medium right now, boys. This is the one, I got the large, luckily, somehow online, came out pretty good. Then we also got, what, which one is this? Oh, yes, I got the navy large and this one online. Yeah, for the body, right, navy small, nice one right there. One of my most iconic graphics they dropped. Just regular shit. The regular shit, right? Yeah. Ooh, is that the, ooh, that, this is what I was looking at online, actually. The Coca-Cola minivan, bro. Cut, coming out Supreme a little bit right here. And of course, the P-Hat, the iconic hat they always be dropping. This is the, right? This is a nice one. I like, I fuck with this one. It's a nice little accessory. They didn't have no accessories. No accessories. Really? Yeah, that's a bass, bass yeah. box. Sit down, man. Size that nine? Human, that's that money size. Damn, yeah, size money. six, though. Did you peep that? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Not bad, not bad. Once again. The items I debated on getting, but didn't get it. It was only eight bucks. Not bad. This is a Cherub pin badge right here. Nice little item right here. Not bad at all. And then, of course, we got the uh, sticker pack, which is always a good pickup at the beginning of the season. Sold out. Sold out. $12 right here, not bad at all either. We got all the iconic graphics that'll be used throughout the season. Size 30 right here, the most, probably the most iconic jean out of the entire collection right here. The Versailles, the purse size jean right here, size 32, white. Damn, the graphic is insane on this one. Sold out extremely fast. 
think it was $178. Only one size 30 in store. None available when I popped in, but damn. How many? Eight seconds? Shit. That's gonna go for the high. Good one right here on the tripod that I got. I could not get this one online. This is called the Rolls. Same graphic on the back, pretty much just in a bigger aspect as well. A good one right there as well. Items are going back in here. I'll unbox the rest of these at home, but all the homies did also pick up one T per person. They got the little rolls one right here. This is the Navy Medium. Then in here we do have the Navy Large, I want to say, right? Or XL, Navy XL. I'll unbox what I got the crib, but this t-shirt was probably not very limited as I thought. Uh, it's still pretty good though, still reselling for a decent amount, but once again, I'll go over this at the crib. Taking a video of this right now. This is actually the most confuculated thing. <laughs> this I've is so fucked. This is the most I've, fucked I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like this in my life. <laughs> this is fucked up, dude. What the? My, oh, oh, this guy's check engine light is on. No. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh my. No! Back up, kid! <laughs> oh my god, he's got a jersey plate too, bro. Oh. You're making a bad name for us, bro. <laughs> What the so, fuck is wrong with you, man? Look at this. Just fucking go, You're man. hitting the fucking thing. <laughs> Yo. You're on the fucking no, pole. pole. You fucking idiot. Oh, my God. Bro. <laughs> Shout out Jen Car Trucking. Yo, bro. Jen Car Trucking, brother. <laughs> idiot, man. Uh, yo, we just got kicked Dude, out of Palace because of the parking shit, but um, we about to move on and park somewhere else. But then we're gonna, we, as I said, we went to Palace, we secured the bag, everything was good over there. You guys saw some of the footage from uh, one of the homies out there, he actually did a really good today. He went to Kith and Palace, cooked up real good. And as I said, we're gonna meet with Harlem later. He got a bunch of special packages, and we're gonna go back to Mercer though because one of the homies is actually in the Jordan one, Obsidian Blues, that are dropping on the 31st of August. He's getting them early, so we're gonna review those a little bit, and I'll catch you guys with maybe. So we didn't finally manage to find parking. But um, what ended up happening is we did have to park far away. So now we're headed to Kith, as I said. We're gonna see what they got in store because they did have the collection come out today. I'm honestly in the mood for the van, bro. I copped the van, it's only like 25 bucks, which isn't bad at all. But anyways, we're about to head over there and my Yeezys did come in, so phone boxing coming soon as well. So I'll show you guys a bit of in-store footage. That's right here, bro. Damn, this shit mad noise. How much is this shit? The pins on it too. It's 280, which isn't bad at all. We got this shit. Put these over here. This one's a nice one right here. Shorts. Shorts. This set's fire though. This set together right here. And the rest of it is not bad either. All the Hawaii islands on this one, pretty expensive. Yeah, no video, bro. Damn, saw me trying to get this loop right here. Damn, did me nasty with the fake cubes, though. This right here is the item. Still going at kids right now. Ooh, the loop. That full set though. Man, so we got bogos, how about bogos? Look at that fat ass stuff. Oh my god, this is ultimate thing as per usual along with this one and Kid Moss. Ooh, soul stage boys, y'all get good at him. Six and a half hours. So we did finally get done eating and shit. Um, Harlem pulled up, bro. Oh my. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Harlem pulled up, bro. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Harlem has pulled up. It has been a, time been a long time, hasn't it? That's going to be a full set review, but I do want to show you guys what we're getting a little bit later. First of all, we got the Travis Scott box right there, one. Then we got the second box right underneath it. So a full comparison and review is coming up these two pairs because if you guys didn't know, I was on vacation. I didn't have a chance to cop the lows. I was on. I was at the, actually at the airport when they did drop. So for review, it's coming between the comparison, the lows and highs. So I'll be hitting the channel as well as well as this review Yo, right here. Guess what he's doing? Harlem Beast on our Instagram, taking that flick out here. You gotta do it, bro. Man, out here on the street. Someone about to take him and dip though. Watch out! This man over here looking mad suspect. 
He's looking at StockX, looking up the value. Oh no. Oh man, he's about to be nasty. You better run after him for me. Dude, imagine. <laughs> Try to over here. Uh, See your fall winter 19, this shit is closed. Up in Trap Band, yo. yo. Bowie. StockX heads be like. <laughs> Oh. What are you about to look up? What are you about to look up? What are you, 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 oh. oh, so? Oh, FL. Man, look at this. Yo, <coughs> this loop coming. This loop coming. Flex, bro. That's a, that's a fucking flex. <laughs> Review coming soon. Yes, sir. Coming soon. And we are finally back home, ladies and gentlemen, and damn, it feels good to have gone to the city, boys. We actually went two days in a row. This was day one. We went back yesterday, which was Saturday. We went around. I actually did buy a little bit more stuff. It was an SBUNCs, basically an SB kind of day. But today, well, today's video was mainly about Palace and Kith. Now, I went back to Kith. As you guys saw, line was too long. It was too hot in the sun. We didn't feel like staying for it. Uh, but we did end up going back yesterday, which will be set video once again. But we didn't cop anything. But they still did have a good amount of stuff left. But if you guys saw the Monday program, the Sprite collection, it's a whack as hell. But the main thing that we did purchase was Palace. Now, Palace Week 1, Autumn 2019. I knew I wanted it. And if you guys didn't see the live cop, Make sure you check it out. That was for the Kith and Commerces as well as Palace Autumn 2019 Week 1. We did good online and in store. Basically got everything that I did want besides one t-shirt, which I don't really... I got the same t-shirt, just not the color that I did want, but it is what it is. And I'll take it, of course, what comes with it. But it was a pretty good job, at least in my opinion. The main highlights for me were the t-shirts, the photo tee, as well as... Oh, holy shit. All right, we are back home. I'm just going to some uh, pro issue right now. Anyways, yo, hold on. We're into Palace, as I said. The decks were dope as well. The ripped one, the ribbed one, the tire coming through the Triferg. I like that. Probably one of my favorite decks to drop in a while from Palace, but I'm not a big deck kind of guy. I do have a few decks already. I was like, I really don't need more. I already have a place to hang them up in, so I care, care less. But anyways, the total did come out to approximately $302. The subtotal was $285 for all the items. But then the tax was a little bit more, which wasn't bad, to be honest. I only paid tax on one item. I did get four items in total, which was pretty exciting. And I'm ecstatic to get everything that I did get. I was fortunate enough. I thought Danny and I wouldn't even have any of this shit in stock. Like, t-shirts, I didn't think they would have. The only thing that I did want that they didn't have were the jeans, but uh, that was expected. I knew it was going to be a limited item from the get-go. Uh, it was pretty limited. Only one person I know actually did end up getting the jeans. But supposedly there was a restock in store. Yesterday that we, that we missed, but it is what it is. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the first t-shirt that I do have in here now This t-shirt you guys can see did not come in a plastic bag But it did come with the in-store tag, which means this was the last item left on the shelf I wanted a gray colorway a gray large to be exact. Well, I wanted XL. They didn't have XL They said they got large and this is the last one So I managed to pick it up. It does have James Franco from that movie with him rocking the palace triumph Now this is not as iconic or as favorited as the Rain Man t-shirt that did drop last season Oh, uh, that was a whole different t-shirt going for way more money and does have that palace screen printed tags I'm hoping soon. I mean, I'm not hoping I could I mean it is a little bit more comfortable with the screen printed tags but i'm waiting for the day to pass shop some actual tags not no screen printed ones because it is a little bit cheaper yet they are charging 48 dollars for a t-shirt and supreme's out here i would say palace quality though is maybe slightly better the large does feel like a real large and there isn't really much variation between the t's like in supreme like different sizes feel a little bit differently in supreme so that's the big issue but this was the first cop from in store unfortunately enough no tax on that item because it was under 110 dollars but next up, we do move on to another t-shirt that I copped in a gray colorway. Unfortunately, I wanted to get the black one they did not have. They had the navy, but I was like, I already got the navy online. Why would I get another one? But I did get the freaking gray XL rolls t-shirt right here. The reason why it's called the rolls is because if you guys do know the rolls Royce vehicle, the car, the automobile, it does have the logo of the angel like coming out from the front of the hood, the most iconic one. And it's basically the angel with the holding the P is just basically why they called it rolls. I'm surprised. I mean, they couldn't really copyright this. It wouldn't make sense for them for there to be a copyright claim. While on the back, you have the super big palace graphic right here you can see a little bit bigger the the figurine holding the p for palace if you guys look up the rolls royce figure it looks basically identical to this multiple different colors coming around the palace uh logo and there's still more unseen items to drop from this weekend i'm hoping there's more because as of right now there's only two other t-shirts that i would want to cop and probably one 
I don't even know what else I get to be honest. Maybe an accessory coming out. I know there was uh, the pin. I did not actually end up getting. I'm sad. I did not actually end up getting that, but they did come in the plastic casing, and that was also forty-eight dollars. And then we go on to the only a pretty expensive piece I did pick up, and the actual only heavy duty, not heavy duty, but big, more expensive, over hundred dollar item, which was the to be exact, the ripped ripped coach jacket, black size small. You guys can tell this is not for the body. It's actually for somebody. This one right here. But the rest of the t-shirts are probably going to just be for me. But yo, the quality on this jacket is actually pretty good. So it comes folded up like this. I don't know if I really want to unfold this because it's so nicely done. But it does have stitched on. Uh, I think it's stitched on. It might be a patch. But it, it is crooked as hell. It's not straight up. It's not level. It is a little bit tilted. The triperg does look to have a little bit of dust marks on it. But this is a size small. Pretty much a coach's jacket right here. The retail was... A hundred and seventy-eight dollars. I want to say pretty expensive for a coach's jacket compared to other brands' prices. We do have it stitched on right there. It could be a patch though. I'll actually, unfold this all the way. You guys can see it comes folded up nicely, and boom, here it is. So on the front, you do have it right there, the coach's jacket. But on the back, that's a whole nother level, bro. This is beautiful. They only don't do stitch on. Well, let's see. Is it a patch? You can't really tell. I think it's a patch, but regardless, bro. This type, they would normally screen print this. They normally wouldn't do it. It's nice. It's not coming off in the wash, but this is nice quality. No, I just like that it'd be stitched on, actually, not going to lie. That's why it is a little bit higher, a little bit more pricier, because it's not screen printed, which I do respect and I do love a lot more. But once again, $178. It does have the buttons coming down the middle. No zipper. Oh, yeah, there is a zipper underneath. No, there is no zipper actually underneath it. And does come in that gray uh, lining on the inside, I want to say. Uh, let's see, power skateboards. And does come with that tag right there. So that was the third purchase. The last one is just a small, not really an accessory, but I don't know. You can't really go into week one of palace and not end up getting the sticker pack like if you go in store you might as well pick it up i should have picked up two i think one to keep and maybe one to give away which would have been the better option unfortunately but i'll go back and maybe pick up another one but this one was only 12 dollars not bad at all for some stickers it basically looks like some acid bag but you do got the, all the stickers this release week one Oh, uh, this graphic did not release yet. We do got the Blackberry, which dropped the pendant. We do got the yellow Trifurg. If you guys don't know, they give white and black Trifurgs for free with every purchase. Then you got the purple one. I love the purple Trifurg right here. Looking iconic. Then we do have the P and a triangle as well. Oh, this Trifurg is fire. Nah, these two are fire, bro. Oh, these two together right here. The iconic ones from week one are definitely it. Uh, I'm waiting for this t-shirt. This t-shirt is going to be very nice. Oh, we do got the P with the piano. And this uh, graphic also did release on a hoodie. The Wet Condensation Palace Triford. Smells mad plastic -y, But mad good. Looks to be good quality stickers. $12 for stickers. Well, I mean, most brands out there do charge. I sometimes take it for granted that Supreme does give out free stickers. But it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. $300 spent in store. Another $120 spent online. So, Palace, you got a good amount of money from me this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys cop down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Peace.